the rest of the season. <laughs> yeah. Nate McMillan's Pacers trying to snap out of a six-game losing streak. Five of those games coming here at home. Or play late. Lafonso, first three possessions, they're playing early. And they get the steal, Warren, a little room service. How about the attention to detail on the defensive end? Tremendous start by the Pacers. Brogdon averaging a little over 16 per game on the season. Into the paint. Sabonis on the drive, sweet spin and bucket. Downsizing going on in the league right now. He provides you, as Bud told us pregame, the ability to stay somewhat big. 15 years, he wants to win a championship. He's dialed in the defensive end, gives him versatility, and a guy who can knock down his own shot. Oladipo with the layup and the foul. Turner has a mismatch here if they can find it. Guarded by Middleton on the block, they can't get it to him. T.J. Warren stops on his dime and hits the floater. Has every shot that you want in his bag. Chris Middleton probing underneath. They knock it away on the back tap. Here's Bronton in transition. Oladipo still got a little bit of bounce. And then, unfortunately, with seven games to go with big money on the table, I ruptured my Achilles tendon. Yeah. And, uh, yes, I've never got a chance to experience Middleton. Working against Warren. Okay. One that's of the best mid-range scorers <laughs> in the game. No, listen, that's a tough shot. This year, uh, of course, the rule stipulating you can't go two years in a row, even though your team may have the best record. Justin Holiday with the long-range jumper. Stopped working no the last way. time. Get yes, no. Here. True story. It wow. stopped working. <laughs> that's incredible. Well, that's a strong move inside by Sabonis. Against a team that, as we had said, is on a historic paint prevention, that is pretty impressive start. Boy, a quick catch and shoot is pretty impressive too, Doris Connaughton. What he was saying, brilliant when that deal happened. <laughs> that's true. That guy was getting crushed. <laughs> Connell kicks it out to the corner. Lamb got it. I, I really can't get over this. <laughs> And he's done it well tonight. Great backdoor cut and pass delivery. DiVincenzo at the other end. Oh, oh boy, that's a good one. I can't give that one up yet. No, yes, and, yes. And no, I'm not giving up. That's Brogdon. <laughs> By any name or alias, Malcolm Brogdon <laughs> can knock down a jump shot. Missing on the three. Here's Middleton. Getting downhill and goes glass. Chris Middleton trying to get going a little bit. He's got six points in the ball game. Changed up his diet, he told me, before the game tonight. Adding a little green cruciferous. Yes. To that. A little salad never helped. I'll tell you what, your, your mind is telling you I can do this. And yet the results are saying that you can't. And it's hard to reconcile that, especially as a competitor, the next two or three weeks. But it's going to be absolutely necessary for this team to make a deep run in the playoffs. And speaking of deep, a deep three by Brooke Lopez. Good contest by the Bucks, and they get the stop. Middleton with a step back three, boy, that is butter. Middleton, another three on the way. This one cleared by Indiana. Turner running the floor, Oladipo with a nice burst and scoop shot. That's the Victor Oladipo we know. Jimmy Dykes on the call. T.J. Warren on the move. This guy's a bucket, folks. T.J. Warren is a bucket for the Pacer. Giannis Antetokounmpo was very vocal in campaigning for Pledge, so his teammate to be on the Eastern on Conference All-Star team. Middleton made it with shooting like that. Jumji with this lineup on the floor for Milwaukee, it allows them to switch one through four. Turner inside and mid up top by Lopez with the block. Wow. <laughs> sure Big Phil's got his own block party going on there. He's got four blocks, so Latifo for three. Got his balance and his legs under him and knocked down another jumper. Could put a little butter and a little toast on that one. <laughs> Bledsoe with a nice crossover inside, and Eric Bledsoe starting to look a little bit more aggressive here. Warren over the top of Lopez. Wow, boy, interesting release. Got rid of it quickly. When you watch the NBA stylistically, do you appreciate it, or are you more old school as another three goes down? What do you think, Tom? I'm, I'm a bit old school. A couple of days ago on Fatherhood. The teammate uh, joining the ranks. <laughs> the lead is back up to 20 off the steal. Warren layup at the other end. 
invariable, inexorable energy yes. and force of personality wouldn't let the Bucks fall this far behind. Well, that, that kind of goes on these days. You know, I heard Stan Van Gundy on TNT last night. Mm -hmm. and he was talking about a little bit of distaste. Frankly, I prefer that. <laughs> I, I like a little nasty. Yes. Here's Sterling Brown on the baseline. Marvin Williams, the newest acquisition, and that's a good look for the Bucks. The lead down to 14. I'll tell you, the fans here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse will be holding their breath either way for the final 12 minutes as Warren gets the nice floater to go with that soft touch. Middleton for three. Tell you what, he's over 40% on the year. Working the sidelines really well tonight. On the putback, good. And they can get it down to five. Backdoor cut by Brown. Reverse layup, good. And here come Milwaukee. Losing streak in the NBA. They've led in the fourth quarter in four of those games. The most monumental meltdown so far was in Toronto as Brogdon breaks the ice. To it. Bledsoe getting over that screen. A good defender. Brogdon inside. Tough shot, but he converts it. And DB, how about the intentionality to get down in the painted area and not just settle for the J? Yeah, great point. Sterling Brown with a 15-foot jump shot. Good. Eight stands at seven. Sterling Brown with nine points on a very efficient four of eight from the field. Nice. Lamb, great cut inside for the layup. That's basketball IQ is off the charts. Bledsoe on the drive. Whistle and one. Counted as he draws the foul. Bucks are perfect 17 to 17 from the line. Brogdon back to Warren. Good flow and movement, and they cash in with the Warren bucket. Lopez wheeling to the basket. Sterling Brown with the rebound. Shot clock down to 10 on the reset. Bledsoe inside and the finish with the left. Bledsoe fell guarding Brogdon. Here's Warren from deep. Stuck on automatic. Lead is at 12. On the floater off glass. Did he call one though? <laughs> Lopez inside, reversed it. Oh, oh, my oh express gosh. yourself, Brooke Lopez. Look good on that yes, one. Yes, he did. 11 points in the ball game for him. Oh, the depot behind the screen, got it. Finding his rhythm here tonight yeah. a little bit. Robbed him back to Turner with the three. And another possession for the Pacers. Inside. And the layup good by Jeremy Lamb. Here's DiVincenzo in the front court. Finds Ilya Sova inside. Turner with the block. Approaching two minutes to go. 15-point advantage still for the Bucks. Pardon me, the Pacers. DiVincenzo from deep. The depot moving his feet well defensively. Middleton to Ilyasova. Whistle, foul, count it. They were pressed against the Raptors when they blew the lead in Toronto. But this time they break the press and convert at the other end. Against the full court pressure. Way back up to 11. Ilyasova. Pocket three, good. And Doris, I would say he didn't have a willingness to come up in the past. Oladipo split the double to Warren. What a dime! Really, still probably has another level in terms of processing speed. Good play. Yeah, really good Warren play. with the easy one. They're on. Hey, partner. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to do it. The Indiana Pacers snap their six game losing streak. Milwaukee Bucks, conversely, suffering just their eighth loss of the season.